Howdy everybody, <clears throat> my name's Julia, I'm an owner builder from Australia and I'm just going to show you a little bit about the theory of setting your room out for parquetry. Okay, so this is your room and this is very approximate, I'm just going to give you the theory behind what, what I did and, and how I um, have gone about doing my living room and then I'm going to show you a little bit of the work in a second. So imagine this is halfway down the room, you've measured across the top and across the side on both sides and you mark it okay now across the shorter side we need a baseline to start with so spring a chalk line from that from that point to that point uh, you'll probably need you will most definitely need a friend to help you um, with the measuring and the chalk lines and stuff um, it'll save you a lot of time all right now we've got our baseline now I need to be able to di um, bisect this line, uh, this is 180 degrees, to get 90 degrees. So, well this is, we are, we are actually going to do, uh, to check that that is 90 degrees afterwards, but just quickly recapping on how to do that, say get your compass on, and do this on paper like I'm doing first. Um, go two-thirds of the way across the, this distance, same on the other side, so do your compass, copy that angle, right? Same on the other side, arc it, and down here as well. And I've put this line in already to save time. That point, that point, and that point should be absolutely in line. This should be 90 degrees, but we really need to check it, okay? So I'm going to do Pythagoras, 3, 4, and 5. 3 squared, 4, four squared, 5 squared, or A squared, B squared, C squared. So let's use Pythagoras' numbers just quickly. Um, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. 9 plus 16 is 25. So from that to there should be, for example, probably uh, two and a half metres. Now, but this is just a ratio, okay? You can use any ratio as long as you're using these numbers. So let me give you an example of what I did, and you can do the same. This is just to make your triangle big, all right? So, as my 3, 4, 5, I'm going to times this by 4, all of these by 4. So that'll give me 1.2 metres, 1.6 metres, and that'll give me 2 metres exactly. So this measurement from there to there, once I've measured out 1.2 and 1.6, this measurement from here to here should be exact, right? 2 metres, if you're using that ratio. Sorry for my American buddies, I'm doing, I'm using metric. You could use six, six foot by eight foot by ten foot if it's a large room. Uh, that'd be a large room. Anyhow, so, um, so once I've got that, once I've got that, I've measured it out, and I've got that exact measurement, I know that all these four squares are going to be exactly the same. So now I've got four quadrants in my room, I'm quite happy. I'm going to um, spring a chalk line all the way through the room. Now, I'm confident I've got that right. The next thing you want to do, so we've got the, these two points of reference. We've got your baseline and your centre line. We'll call this our centre line. Um, now I want to give myself another point of reference. This is my, the parquetry that I'm using. It's um, Australian hardwood, it's called black butt. I think it's um, eucalyptus cytoroxylum from memory. Um, and I'll be doing 90 degree herringbone, but this will work on any pattern. It'll work on 45, it doesn't matter. So what I wanna do is, I know the length of this parquetry is 260 millimeters and it's 65 millimeters wide, all right? So two of those together, 65 and 65 is 130, 
which is exactly halfway between 260. So I'm going to put them on the floor next to that center line. I'm going to show you on actually in situ in a second. All right? And obviously this is way out of proportion, but I just put it on the floor and I mark all the way down and I spring another chalk line. All right? So let's just imagine that I've done that. Now I've got three points of reference. Because as I'm going along, that will help me keep my pattern true. It's very important on a large area because, as you know, if, you've, if you're about to embark on parquetry, it's extremely precise um, flooring and you, know, you want to give yourself the best possible chance of doing a good job. Because it's not like paving outside. You can't just rip it up and redo it, re-screed the sand. This is glued on and you're going to have to live with it. And you could rip it up, but it's going to take you a lot of time and you're going to waste beautiful wood and all that. Okay, so we've got one, two, three points of reference. Now I want to bisect this 90 degree angle, so I've got 45s. So just quick ge geometry, I can, I can use that 1.2 mark there, set my compass, you know. 1.2, so it might be there, 1.2. Same distance, leave the compass where it is, arc it out there, for example, and arc it out there, and same on all these sides, whatever, and you'll get your 45s passing through those points, hopefully. I mean, I've just obviously done that. So, that's pretty way off down the bottom. So that's the arc there, all right? And you do that on both sides. You've got your chalk, spring your chalk line straight through that middle, straight through those three points. Put that one there and that, that one there, right? So you've got one, two, three, four points of reference in each quadrant. Um, and this will really, it really works. And I'm going to take you over there now and show you what I've done and how it applies to the parquetry itself. So this is a section of my living room. It's exactly the method that I used. As you can see, here's my two lines on the floor that I've done with the chalk line. And there they are up there. There's two blocks. So you can see what I mean. As you come down here, you'll see that pattern there all the way down. Look. There it is there. All right, over here, that's one of my diagonals, and it runs straight through. Right there, you can see it, and it, I've done it on all four quadrants. There's one, there's another one, but I want to show you how this works out, and um, you can see that as I'm going along, that point is on that line. There it is. It's right on that line. And because I've gone to all that trouble, the string line, all those points are touching. So that's how the four points of reference can help you.